Hi, welcome to the channel, hope you're well. I'm Silverpunk and today I'm going to show you how I generate my depth maps for my 3D printing and my silver pouring process. Now I've been doing it for the last couple of years so I know a good depth map from a bad one and today I'm going to show you a program, um, an online program, it is a paid service called Sculpt OK and it's what I've been using for the last three or four months, if not a little bit longer, to do all my th my um, depth map generations so I can print out my 3D prints. And you can also use it for, you can create depth maps, like I've said, but you can also use those for, for laser engraving, CNC, CNC carving, that type of thing. So if you need a depth map, this program, this online feature program will do it for you. Now I've got a link down below in my description that will give you some free credits. And, and it's also to, to test it out so you know what it's like. But before you go off and do it, do watch my video because I'll show you how it all works and you don't want to be wasting your credits because I know what that's like. You waste your credits, you're like, oh, I've just, I've just done a load of credits messing about. If I knew how to do it, I'd have saved those credits. So yeah, um, down in the description below is a link to the Sculpt OK website and you can get some free credits. And now I'm going to jump across to the actual depth, gener depth map generator itself to show you how it works. So here we are, this is a landing page to the website Sculpt OK and as you can see there's a couple of things you can do straight off the bat depth map generator or an AI image generator well I've already got the AI image I want to work with so we click on depth map generator and this is the page as you can see all down the left hand side lots of different options but the first thing we need to do is actually get our our image into the onto the website so you just click there and it will just open up for you and that this is where you select where your image is so just select the file that you want to transfer across to the depth map and that's the one i'm going for it's called the dragon's lady as you can see and you just click upload and it will just upload it in as quick as that so now once you're there you've got lots of things you can try around here you've got color image portrait image line art and it just depends what type of picture or image you're trying to convert into a depth map well i always use color image i always use mine on the color image but you can experiment with the others obviously if it's a bit of line art black and white just line use that portrait if it is a portrait of course you can use that as well but i prefer the, the color image now you've also got image dimensions down here at the bottom you've got basic and you've got pro and that just gives you more pixels more definition but we for this test we're just going to leave it on the basic one just to show you how i do it and then the last thing you just click draw and now what it's going to do now, it's going to actually produce us four depth maps. The first one is just a very rough outline, just light, light and darks. And then the second one will be a bit more detail. Third one, even more detail. And the fourth one will be a different take on it. As you can see them here, they're dropping in. This is in live time as, as we're doing it, as we're recording. And that's the first one. You can just see the very lights and darks. You can see on the tip of the nose of the dragon, very, very bright. And of course, the background, very dark. So now it's just queuing up the rest and they'll all drop in one by one. So as you can see here, this is the first one that's drop, dropped in. And as you can see, we've got a lot of detail already and that's a pretty cool depth map compared to some of the other places. And now the second one, it's give you more definition, more of the lines they've put. As you can see, it's used darker, a darker color for the line. So a bit more detail. And the last one, even more so, I mean, if you look at the dragon scale. So what we'll do now, We'll look at each of them and what it generates because obviously as i've just said before it depends what you're going to use it for so for this product project i want to make a 3d print so i want to make basically a bas relief for this 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 flat image so we'll just quickly click this button here 3d preview so if you click that it'll open another window and there we go that's the images give us and i'm sure you'll agree that is pretty cool but we can we can improve this slightly if you come over to this bit here top right you'll see model scaling percentage now that's at 50 percent now this just just means the detail so we'll up it it will go to 100 and it will just up the detail as you can see it's just dropped in more detail and it's looking fantastic and now we've got the thickness that's that that's the actual thickness of the bas relief itself so we're just going to add that up i always like to go for around seven or eight so we just go to seven and you see it just gives it a bit more depth now if i just scroll it like that you'll see see how it's raised it you got just a bit more depth now obviously if you're doing a 3d print that's really cool that's what you want or if you're doing i don't know a cnc carving on a piece of wood you want a bit more depth and 
you know it just all depends what what you want to do i mean you can use the depth map we've generated for the for the carving or the laser engraving but this just gives you some sort of idea what it'll actually look like when it's in the 3d form so yeah that was the very first depth map and yeah looking pretty cool and for, for what i use i'd go ahead and generate that and i'd save that out and all to save it out you just click download stl there and it um downloads it to your computer but let's just have a as we're here we'll look at look at the next one so we'll go for the second one 3d preview as you can see now it's slightly a little more different this is cutting more to the to the surface let's up the detail and again look at that getting more details now and i haven't even let's just change the, the thickness let's up that to seven same as the first one so we're using the same settings look at that now let's just go back to the first one as you see they just it's just up the detail and again just depends what you're going to use it for and we'll go go look at the last one oh i'm like i'm liking the last one as well let's just do the settings again how cool is that oh yeah it's just so exciting what you can do. I think I prefer the last one. I don't know what you guys and girls think, but look at that. That'll give you some lovely textures in the dragon scales on a face. And what I love the way the hair is just going. So if we go to the first one, that's the first one. Second one. Third one. Now, I'm sure you'll agree. I think for what I need it for, the first or the third one, but I'm going to go for the third one. So I'm going to actually download that one out. So I'll just click download. And now it'll just download it to my computer. And basically, it's as easy as that. You just come back here. And now you can you can play about with it. There is a lot more different settings you can use. You can fine tune them. When you click on the image here, here as you can see, you can redo it. Image upscale, invert depth map, adjust the brightness. You could, you could go into a lot more experiments so it's 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 something to to play about with until you get the as, as i keep saying all you've just got to bear in mind what what your project is at the end of it so that's what you've just got to got to remember what what outcome you want and yeah that's it's easy as that two or three clicks generated a depth map i hope you've enjoyed that run through it was really fun making it and messing about with more depth maps now, Sculpt OK is the place that I use for doing all, all my bits and pieces, but it does have a lot of other features. When you're on the website, have a look through. You can actually make three-dimensional pieces. You can you can turn a flat image into a three-dimensional model, an STL file. I've done it with a mug and other, some other little bits and pieces, so it's well worth looking about. And also, it's got its own image generation. You can do everything all on the website. You can generate your own images and then it'll spit you out a depth map as well, like I've just said. So it's almost like a one-stop place for creators, and it's it's the place that I use. I can't recommend it highly enough. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see some of the silver art I make with the depth map generations and my 3D prints, check this video out here. Cheers for watching.